Hello, it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. Today I'm doing the Books as Horror tag. The lovely ladies at Spinebreakers, Megan and Sue, did this video recently and they tagged me to do the same. So this is basically coming up with a list of books and rewriting them as if they were horror, which sounds brilliant. And they did an excellent job with their rewritings, so yeah, I will leave their video linked in the description below. I decided to find a list of books online so the titles that I talk about will be a bit more random and I haven't had any like pre-selection. So I found the, um, it was the PBS Great American Read list and this is like the top 100 of the country's favourites and basically I'm going to destroy their dreams. And I'm not going to do the top 100, I'll do like 5 or 10 maybe, we'll see how it goes. But first up is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. And I think with this I'm just going to go off the title rather than, you know, using the characters or the storyline um, and putting them into something else. I'll probably just riff on the title itself. Um, so for To Kill a Mockingbird... I'm thinking maybe American Psycho, the teenage years, and we're following Patrick Bateman growing up, and maybe he is doing horrible things to birds and animals because, you know, that's how they all start out, isn't it? Um, yeah, that was a really fun one to kick off with. Well done, me. So, moving on to number two, Outlander, the series by Diana Gabaldon, and... Hmm. I don't even really know what this series is about. Um, yeah, the title honestly isn't... I'm not really getting anything jumping to mind for this title, so um, I might just skip this one. Is that bad? Am I allowed to do that? Um, number three is Harry Potter, the series by J.K. Rowling. Um, and I guess the first one for the picture here is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And this one's got to be a cult related, hasn't it? I think Harry is, we're not gonna go with the Harry Potter that we know, I think we're just going, we're going rogue with this. And I think, yeah, Harry is just this guy and he goes, uh, he moves to a new town maybe, and um, yeah, stumbles upon some uh, dark occult activity going on. Um, and it turns out that maybe he's, uh, due to be their next sacrifice or something, um, so he has to, I don't know, figure out a way of thwarting them. Number four is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is a bit of a tricky one too. Um, maybe we could stick with the historical setting, um, but yeah, I don't know, I'm blanking on this one too. I'm the worst at this apparently, so I don't know. I'm gonna move on to the next one, which is number five, The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, okay, I can do this. Ooh, maybe this is um, some kind of a bit of a supernatural one and it's about this guy who um, has these special powers that he can control what people do if they're wearing a ring that he's given them. And so he has all these people that are wearing his ring and it means that he can control them. And I don't know, he something happens, something bad happens, obviously it's a horror novel, but um, yeah, and he is the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, so yeah, that works. Um, number six is Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. Um, hmm, okay, Gone with the Wind. Ooh, okay, post-apocalyptic. So most of the population has been wiped out by something horrible and, um, yeah, we're just following, like, the last few survivors. Uh, because everyone else has, like, gone with the wind. Um, and yeah, again, horrible things happen. It's really bleak and depressing. Okay, number seven is Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. So, um... 
oh okay this has got to be some kind of um what's the word black widow situation where this woman is a serial murderer so she'll marry someone and kill him and then move on to the next one number eight is little women by louisa may alcott um little women um let's go with like a ya horror and um yeah it would be maybe something like pretty little liars but more horror and maybe one of the girls is um a murderer or something or um I don't know, maybe she has special powers. No, maybe they all have special powers. Maybe it's like a group of witches or something and they all have special powers um, and yeah, they just wreak havoc on everyone else at school. Number nine is The Chronicles of Narnia series by C.S. Lewis. Um, hmm. Chronicles of Narnia. Um, this is kind of difficult. Um, yeah, I'm totally blanking on something with this too. I'm, I suck at this. Uh, number 10, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Um, yeah, wow, I'm getting nothing for Jane Eyre. Um, no, it's not happening. Um, well, that was the top 10. Um, maybe I'll scroll through and find another one that like jumps out to me. Okay. Um, so I ended up scrolling down to number 37. <laughs> this was the first one that jumped out to me. Um, The Call of the Wild by Jack London. Um, and maybe this could be, um, like your typical cabin in the woods situation where a couple or a group of people going out to the middle of nowhere um, and yeah things are bound to go horribly wrong um, or it might even be I recently read Off Season by Jack Ketchum so yeah maybe there are some cannibals involved too why not let's throw that in for good measure so those were a few popular books rewritten as horror that was quite fun um, but it's a bit more difficult than I realized um, I'm just not that good at thinking on my feet I'm not going to tag anyone in particular, but if you would like to do this, then yeah, go for it. Consider yourself tagged. Um, it was a lot of fun, so I recommend it. If you do it or have done it, um, yeah, let me know what your video is and I would love to check it out. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!